All right, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to 1.19. And yes, this is not my typical redstone testing world because we are in the nether. These cool frog lights here, everybody wants them. All right, there's a couple designs out there where they use the bastion with the treasure room that has the spawner. And that's, that's a really efficient farm, and I bet you it works really great. And you don't have to worry about spawn proofing or anything like that because... It's just like a regular old zombie spawner or skelly spawner. My farm is up here on the nether roof. Because if we go all the way up here to the top, we can only spawn what's up here. And there's only two things that can spawn here in the basalt delta. That's magma cubes and gas. And if we manipulate the spawning platforms here, we can keep gas from spawning and only have the magma cubes spawn. So, how this thing works... It's pretty simple. It's just like everybody else uses some powdered snow to break the large magma cubes into smaller magma cubes. And these frogs eat them up. And there is a minecart going back and forth here. Here we have four spawning platforms and they all go towards the old iron golem. The aggro range of the magma cubes is 16 blocks. So this is actually 15 blocks because I didn't want one getting stuck back there in the corner. And he goes towards the iron golem and they fall down to their death and get froze to death and then the frogs eat them up there's no rhyme or reason which frogs eat what so it is a mixed bag of frog lights so as we fly up here there we go we got some some magma cubes spawning in you can see there's a big one so let's hop down here we can watch the action he'll fall down in there start to shiver Yep, there he's died. He's died. He has died. And the medium ones still go in there and they still get killed by the powdered snow. Sometimes they'll come a little too close and Iron Golem will punch him in the face. Just like that. He just helped him break him down a little bit. Every once in a while one of these little guys will jump really close to him and he'll punch him in the face also. So this thing also doubles as a magma cream farm. You get a little bit of that. Not too much. But yes, you like that. They'll drop there sometimes, sometimes up here, but we're not really looking for a magma cream. I finished this farm and went up to the top for like five or ten minutes, and this is what I got. We'll do a full hour-long test after we do the tutorial of how to build it. Here's a list of the supplies you're going to need to build the farm. You actually need two stacks of scaffolding. Alright guys, we're on a brand new world. Well, actually, it's a copy of the last world. Alright guys, we've jumped into survival mode. Oh, how convenient. We spawned in a basalt delta, and there's a ladder going straight up. Okay, so seriously, the first thing you guys want to do is find a basalt delta, of course, and you're going to want to dig up to the yeast ceiling. All right, we're heading up the ladder. So when you're digging all the way up to the bedrock, you want to find the block that's the thinnest at the bedrock ceiling, and that is when you're looking at target block 127. Let me take off that thing. Okay, there we go. So we're going to continue... Climbing up the ladder, and you're going to go right on the crosshairs right between these two, and you're going to take your ender portal and throw it. And there you go. You're up on the roof. And you just jump, and you're there. Once we've made it up to the nether roof, we probably would build a portal up here, because that's how we're going to get our frogs in here, through a portal. But right now, we're just going to start with a Impulse SV simple sorting system. All right, this is the basic shape for the item filter. So you're going to put a torch underneath there, a comparator on top, redstone dust coming here, here, and here, and then a repeater facing into there. We're going to take our hopper and we're going to shift click it so it's pointing in, so it's pointing into the comparator. So we need a filter item. So we'll take our kelp and we're going to name it filter. All right. There we go. We don't need that anvil anymore. Let's get rid of that anvil. So we're going to place this and go one, two, three, four. And there you go. Let me build up the rest real quick. All right. There you go. Our sorting system is in. Now we're going to take our chests and just go right along here and just double chest, double chest, double chest, and a double chest. So we're going to put four down because we want an overflow for our magma cream. Okay. There we go. Now we have our array of chests up we're going to come back here and just 
fill in hoppers behind it by shift clicking them all in. Okay, once you put all your hoppers in, you're going to put another row. This one going straight into it, and then these coming straight across. So afterwards, you're going to have that one going down, and then these going across with two extra across here. Right here, we're going to put a chest down. We're going to shift and place the chest down, and then another hopper directly on top of that. Okay, off this hopper, we're going to come out six blocks three, four five six and then come out again this side six blown blocks two three four five six and then fill all that in so now you end up with a seven by seven square with this hopper in the corner now one block up you're going to want to put a ring all the way around the platform okay now that you have a ring around your platform so next you're going to shift and put a block against this chest right here Okay, once you put that block there, you're going to break this out. You're going to replace it. You're going to put a comparator here. This comparator is going to power this block. Next, we're going to put a redstone torch here, and then a block on top of that. We're going to break this block out and put a block right next to it with a repeater going that way. So that is going to power this block. We can fill this in right here. Ooh. We probably need to put a piece of glass on top of that. Okay, there you go. There's your offloading system is all done. So whenever, let's say something goes into here, let's say like frog lights. Let's get some frog lights. Huh. Oh, look. I got a, I got a, an achievement. Look at that. Okay, so we're going to drop these in here. Drop all those off. And you can see that this has turned this, re this repeater is now turned off because they are flowing through this hopper. And they are now starting to load these up. So you don't even need to have frog lights at the beginning. If you just left that open, whenever frog lights start fl flowing in, it will auto start to filter it. Unless you get a magma cube in there. So this one has not had any orange ones flow through yet. Or not orange ones. Any pearlescent ones flow through. Once the pearlescent ones flow through, it can't go into this one. And it can't go into this one. So it'll fill into this one and it will set the filter. And as you can see, there it goes. And it's setting the filter, and the rest will drop here. I'll probably cut all that out. Okay, so now we need to work on the pickup system. We're going to need our powered rails, our unpowered rails, and some levers. And of course, a hopper minecart. So we're going to start by putting a non-powered rail here, and a powered rail all the way this way. And then non-powered, non-powered, and powered, 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 powered. And let's go all the way this way. Now for this ending, we just go powered straight into the wall. And here we're going to put our last powered one there. Second block back, which is right here, we're going to put our levers. And you can see everything is powered. So now when we put our hopper minecart down, it starts to go and it will continually run back and forth. Ta-da! Isn't that fun? All right, the next step is to fill all this whole thing up with stone bricks or any solid block that you want. And just like that, they're all filled. All right, so our next step is to go to the corner and build up 10 blocks. 10, 10, 10, and 10. All right. Once you have your pillars of 10, let's go ahead and fill in this top part all the way around. All right, now that you have your chamber, let's fill this all in with glass. All right, now that you have all your glass filled in, we're going to want to come out two blocks from the corner, put down a piece of scaffolding, two blocks 
all the way around. And there you go. So that has nine pieces of scaffolding. You can put a powder snow on every single scaffolding. And then come through and break all the scaffolding. And there you go. Your killing chamber is done. At this point, you would want to have your frogs already bred up and hopefully already tied up here to a post somewhere or go collect the frogs and build a nice path up here somehow break out the glass get them in here somehow i suggest using 12 frogs four of each color so we're going to summon summon frog at our location the variant is a cold frog and it's a green one and we're going to do four of those so now we're going to get some warm frogs t-e-m-p-e-r-a-n-t -E -E temperate all right there you go now the reason why we made it 10 blocks high is because frogs can jump eight blocks so if we made it eight blocks then they could get up top if they like jumped on each other's heads a little bit or if they got a little bit of extra boost from another one or something so I found it safe just to do 10 blocks to keep them from jumping out. Now we got to build our spawning platforms. So we're going to come out from this corner. <clears throat> so we're going to come from this corner and count out 12 blocks. 1, 12, 12. And fill all that in. And now that you have your spawning platforms done... Doesn't look familiar, just like my iron farm. And if you like iron farms, check out my iron farm video right here. Well, maybe afterwards. Next thing we want to do is we want to keep gas from spawning and we want to keep the magmas contained in this area. We don't want them hopping off the sides or anything like that. The silly magmas. So we're going to come along this side here and come up four blocks. And go all the way around the entire perimeter with four blocks. Now that your safety walls are all the way around, let's prevent gas from spawning. So we're going to go in two blocks and put a block here. And do the same to the other side. And a block there. And then here we're going to put one right in the middle. So there's a two gap block. This will prevent gas from spawning and it will prevent the large magmas from trying to jump out. Okay, now your farm should look like this. Leaving these few blocks out in the middle, we'll place those in after we spawn in our golem. But these gas prevention bars are all in to keep gas from spawning, which is a good thing. So let's hop back down here and put some temporary blocks here in the middle. Go four blocks out. And then break those. And we'll put another temporary block on top of there. We're going to use some scaffolding because it's temporary. And let's put our fence gates all the way around, creating a nice little box. Once we have our little box of fence gates, or fence gates. Once we have our little box of fences around it, I think I said fence gates earlier, I apologize. We're going to build a iron golem right here. Before we put the carved pumpkin on his head, we're going to break this block underneath it. So when he forms, he will fall straight down. So let's get up and and then we're just going to fill in the rest of this. That just will keep him safe. And you can see already our guys started moving towards him. Our farm is done. So we're just going to hop down into this corner right here and put down some scaffolding. And we're going to go scaffolding all the way to build height. That'll be two stacks, roughly. Well, just for safety, I would come down four blocks and build here there you go you got yourself a little afk box right up here and let's hop down real quick you can see the farm is going crazy all right guys let's clear out these chests wow look at that we were up there for not even a minute or two and look how many we got let's clear all this stuff out and clear this out there we go so let us go up and AFK for one hour. Okay, guys, if you look in the top left corner, you can see it's been an hour. So let's hop on down. 
Whee! And see what we got going on here. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. Yep, yep. That's pretty consistent. Oh, well, let's let these guys all die off and let's do a full count. Okay, quick math. It looks like 141 stacks of frog lights in an hour. And, woo, nine, ten stacks of magma cream. All right, guys, so we got 141 stacks of frog lights. And that adds up to 9,024. So let's just average it out and just say this farm produces around 9,000 frog lights an hour. Plus, we got 10 stacks of magma cream also. So guys, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, click that like button. And if you really, really liked it, consider clicking the subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys later.